Today, we're tackling the hacking tools you're wasting time on, the ones that make you feel like a cyber ninja, but are actually as useful as a USB condom. Let's get ethical, let's get real, and let's save you from hours of frustration. Oh, and stick around. I'll drop some legit alternatives that'll make your pen testing game stronger than my grandma's Wi-Fi password. Tool number one, auto exploit tools. Tools that claim to auto hack anything with an IP address. Well, Metasploit's auto module. I'm looking at you. Sure, it's fun to watch exploits fire like confetti until you realize you're just running MSF console like a monkey hitting a button for bananas. Why this sucks? Because you're not learning how exploits work. It's like ordering takeout but calling yourself a chef. Also, these tools often crash on custom apps or updated systems. Poof, there goes your three-hour hack. But don't you worry, you can level up by writing your own exploits. Start with Python plus buffer overflow tutorials. Use Metasploit after manual recon. Play with exploit DB, read code, tweak it, break things. Ethically, please be. And remember, kids, if your exploit chain is longer than a TikTok dance trend, you're overcomplicating it. Tool number two, magic vulnerability scanners. First up, automated vulnerability scanners that promise to find all the flaws while you sip coffee. And if it's named after a Harry Potter spell, it's probably fictional. Tools like SuperScan 9000, not a real tool, but you get the idea, spit out 500 critical vulnerabilities, and 499 are false positives. Here's the technical T. These tools often miss business logic flaws in zero days. They're like a metal detector at the beach. Great for finding bottle caps, useless for buried treasure. So now what to do instead? Learn manual testing. Understand OWASP top 10, like it's your favorite meme. Use Burp Suite for targeted scans. It's active scanning plus manual tweaking. For network pen testing, pair NMAP scripts with actual brain cells. This is a start, but interpret the results. And if your scanner's report is thicker than a calculus textbook, you're doing it wrong. Tool number three, password crackers that crack nothing. Ah, uh, password crackers. The digital equivalent of shaking a locked briefcase and hoping it opens. Tools like John the Ripper are powerful if you've got a good word list. But if your dictionary is just password123 and I love you, you're going to have a bad time. Brute forcing modern hashes like SHA256 without a GPU cluster? Enjoy your retirement, mate. Using rainbow tables? Cool for MD5 in 2005, but useless for salted hashes in 2025. Fix the mess. Build better word lists with CEWL. Scrape target websites for keywords. Use Hashcat with rules to mangle words, like you can use this script for the purpose. Try social engineering instead. A phishing email titled, Your Netflix account is now free, works better than 10 hours of crunching. Tool number four, phishing kits from Dark Web Temu. Using pre-made phishing kits from sketchy forums is the worst thing you can do to yourself. Guaranteed to bypass MFA. Half these kits log your own data and send it to the aliens. They're detected by modern email filters faster than I can say. Why is my antivirus screaming? Don't worry, here are some better moves. Learn GoFish or SE Toolkit to build your own campaigns. Study HTML plus CSS to clone login pages convincingly. Test against Office 365's filters or Gmail. If it lands in Promotions, you failed. And if your phishing page looks like it was designed in Microsoft Paint, just stop. Tool number five, all-in-one hacking suites that do nothing well. First up, those all-in-one hacking frameworks that promise to be the Netflix of pen testing. They're more like a blockbuster DVD. Tools like CyberDrainerX, again, fake name, but you've seen these, claim to exploit, scan, fish, and make coffee. But in reality, they're bloated, buggy, and about as subtle as a ransomware note in Comic Sans. Why this is a dumpster fire? They auto-fail at custom exploits. Trying to hack an IoT toaster? Enjoy your 37 error messages. Their stealth mode is louder than a mechanical keyboard in a library. So go fix your life. Use dedicated tools for specific jobs. Love Wi-Fi hacking? Aircrack NG plus Wireshark is your power couple. For web apps, OWASP Zap, that janky all-in-one bloatware. Learn Bash Python scripting to chain tools yourself. Automate Nmap scans plus Nikto vulnerability checks. It's like Lego, but for hackers. Tool number six, crypto jacking scripts for passive income. Ah oh man, crypto jacking scripts, the MLM schemes of hacking. Just run this script and earn $10,000 a day in Monero. Sure, and I'm Satoshi Nakamoto's yoga instructor. These scripts often pulled from GitHub repos last updated in 2017. 
promise easy money, but mostly fry your CPU and get you blacklisted by Cloudflare. Modern sites detect crypto jacking faster than you can say CPU usage at 100%. Even if you succeed, mining rewards are lower than the electric bill for your toaster. So what to do instead? Learn smart contract auditing. Tools like Slither or MythX can find flaws in DeFi apps. Practice blockchain forensics with Etherscan plus Tenderly. Track transactions like a crypto Sherlock. And if you really want to mine, buy an ASIC. Or just accept that your GPU is for gaming, not bankruptcy. Tool number seven, AI-powered pen testing tools. These tools are about as intelligent as a potato. These apps claim to autonomously hack like Skynet, but their AI is just a glorified IF statement wrapped in a Python script. If port 80 open, run nmap. Else, cry. Revolutionary. They miss context. For example, flagging a WordPress blog is critical because it's a blog. Zero adaptability. A real attacker changes tactics. These tools just rerun the same scan and hope. Be smarter than the AI. Use Bloodhound for active directory attacks. It maps attack paths like a GPS for hackers. Train chat GPT ethically to write custom scripts. Like ask it to write a Python script to brute force API endpoints with these headers. Learn threat modeling. Tools like Microsoft Threat Modeling Tool help you think like an attacker. 